There are moments in astronomy when one object suddenly refuses to behave the way the universe says it should, moments when the numbers collapse under their own contradictions, when every simulation fails, and when an entire scientific community quietly begins to fear that the thing they are studying is not just unusual, it is fundamentally wrong. That moment is happening right now with 3i Atlas. Over the past few weeks, this interstellar visitor has begun producing signs so contradictory, so physically inconsistent, and so violently opposed to what a comet is supposed to do, that researchers have been forced into a corner. Either the comet is breaking apart into dozens of fragments, or our understanding of what we are seeing is flawed at a level that makes even experts uncomfortable. But then the newest images arrived, and everything became even stranger. Because the one explanation that made sense, that 3i Atlas must be fragmenting, has now been proven false. It isn't breaking up. It isn't scattering debris. It isn't collapsing under its own mass loss. It is perfectly intact, whole, solid, singular. And that realization has opened a door that no one was prepared to walk through. Something is seriously wrong with 3i Atlas. And tonight, we're going to dive into the mystery piece by piece, layer by layer, until the full magnitude of what's happening becomes impossible to ignore. To understand just how bizarre 3i Atlas has become, we need to start with the event that first set off alarm bells. On November 9th, astronomers captured images revealing a massive tail, actually two massive tails, stretching millions of kilometers through space. One pointed normally away from the sun, as expected. The other pointed almost directly toward the sun, forming an ultra-rare feature known as an anti-tail. But the real problem wasn't the direction, it was the scale. For a comet to produce tails that long, gas must escape from its surface at blistering speeds. But 3i Atlas releases gas at around 1,500 kilometers per hour, sluggish by cosmic standards. At that speed, producing tails millions of kilometers long requires continuous outgassing for weeks or even months. Yet images taken just days earlier showed absolutely nothing. No faint tail, no jets, not even a dust haze. The comet went from complete silence to explosive activity in a time frame that physically shouldn't be possible. It was like watching a match erupt into a bonfire in the middle of a rainstorm without ever seeing the spark. And when scientists ran the numbers, the explanation became even more alarming. To sustain tails that enormous, 3i Atlas would need 1,600 square kilometers of sunlit surface area. Basically, a spherical comet 23 kilometers across. But Hubble had measured the nucleus at only 5.6 kilometers across, four times too small, which means the tails we were seeing required a comet vastly larger than the one we actually have. And that contradiction broke the model in half. Once astronomers calculated how much material the tails were carrying, the situation escalated from strange to physically impossible. Using brightness and tail size to estimate dust density, researchers concluded that 3i Atlas was ejecting material at a staggering rate of 50 billion tons per month. But the comet itself is only supposed to weigh 33 billion tons in total. In other words, the comet was losing more than its entire mass every month. That shouldn't just be unlikely. It should be terminal. No object can lose more mass than it contains unless it's breaking apart into multiple pieces, exposing fresh surfaces in every direction and rapidly shedding material like a crumbling iceberg. And we've seen this exact phenomenon before. In 1992, Comet Shoemaker Levy 9 broke into 21 fragments. The mass it released looked impossible until we realized it had shattered. Fragmentation explains extreme mass loss. Fragmentation explains sudden brightening. Fragmentation explains multi-directional jets. Everything pointed to 3i Atlas undergoing the same fate. It was supposed to be falling apart. The math demanded it. The physics demanded it. The behavior demanded it. But then, the truth arrived in the form of new images, and all of our assumptions collapsed. As the numbers stacked against 3i Atlas, astronomers were convinced of one thing. This comet must be fragmenting. It had to be. No intact object could survive losing more material than its entire mass. No intact object could produce seven jets in one day and massive tails the next. And no intact object could endure its October 29th perihelion, its closest approach to the sun, without cracking under the thermal stress. Comets routinely break apart near the sun. Many simply don't survive the encounter. 
Three I Atlas faced temperatures that should have torn it open. The jets exploding from its surface should have acted like tiny rockets, ripping the nucleus into chunks. Every simulation confirmed it. 3i Atlas could not be whole after what it had endured. Scientists prepared themselves to study the fragments, to analyze the debris, to measure the breakup patterns. Fragmentation was not a theory. It was an inevitability. Or so it seemed. On November 11th, astronomers David Jewett and Jane Liu captured the clearest images yet of 3i Atlas using a telescope in the Canary Islands. What they found instantly rewrote the entire narrative. Their report carried a disarmingly simple title, 3i Atlas, still single, a nucleus intact, a coma glowing, a region 500,000 kilometers wide around the object, carefully analyzed, showing zero evidence of fragmentation, every method designed to reveal even the smallest piece of debris. And they found nothing, not one shard, not one trail of dust separating from the nucleus, not one sign that the comet had split. Despite the math insisting it must be cracking apart, despite the tails demanding it should be breaking up, despite the jets screaming that fragmentation was the only possible explanation, 3i Atlas remained whole. This was the point when astronomers realized something was deeply wrong, because the behavior of the comet and the condition of the comet simply did not match. Its activity was catastrophic. Its structure was untouched. It was like seeing a volcano erupt violently without any damage to the mountain itself. A paradox, a contradiction, a warning. The new images confirmed something else. 3i Atlas was producing not one, but two massive tails. The normal tail was expected. But the anti-tail? That was something astronomers rarely see, and almost never with this level of precision. It pointed at the sun with an offset of just 9 degrees, a nearly perfect alignment. Anti-tails can occur under rare geometric conditions, but here the geometry didn't add up. 3i Atlas wasn't fragmenting, so the dust wasn't coming from multiple pieces spreading out. The tail appeared to be forming from a single nucleus, maintaining a stable direction despite the comet's rotation. And what made this even stranger is that anti-tails don't suddenly appear overnight. Yet this one did. It arrived at full strength after days of total inactivity, contradicting every model that describes how dust distribution should work. It was another sign that while the comet's activity was extreme and chaotic, the object itself seemed impossibly stable. Once again, the data disagreed with reality, and the contradiction deepened. 3i Atlas passed closest to the Sun on October 29th, a moment when most comets experience violent stress. This is when sublimation becomes intense, when gases burst outward, when the nucleus heats unevenly and fractures under pressure. Many comets simply don't make it through perihelion intact. Yet two weeks later, 3i Atlas was not weakened. It was supercharged. It produced jets, tails, massive outgassing, all while remaining perfectly whole. The thermal stress that should have shattered it didn't even crack the surface. The explosive loss of tens of billions of tons of material didn't erode it. The violent expulsion from its core didn't distort the nucleus. It behaved like an object immune to the very processes that define comets. This forced scientists to consider a disturbing idea. Maybe 3i Atlas isn't behaving like a comet because it isn't built like one. Something about its structure must be fundamentally different. Something ancient. Something hardened. Something the solar system has never seen before. The next theory to gain traction was one rooted in 3i Atlas's origin story. This object likely predates the solar system by billions of years, possibly 7 to 10 billion years old. During that time, it would have drifted through cosmic radiation fields, absorbing high-energy particles that slowly altered its chemistry. Cosmic rays might have hardened its outer shell, forming a crust unlike anything in our comet catalog. There is evidence for this. James Webb detected eight times more carbon dioxide than normal, suggesting cosmic rays may have converted carbon monoxide into CO2 over billions of years. That same radiation could have turned its surface into a dense, rigid shell, while the interior remained filled with ancient, volatile ice. If the crust is sealed except for hidden vents or deep channels, sublimation might occur in violent bursts, producing jets far more powerful than expected from its size. This would create massive tails and extreme activity without necessarily fragmenting the nucleus. In other words, 
3i Atlas may be behaving this way because it has a structure the solar system has never encountered. But even this theory only explains part of the story, not all of it. And the contradictions kept stacking up. If 3i Atlas isn't fragmenting, and if the exotic crust theory only explains some of its behavior, then astronomers are left with one final unsettling possibility. Maybe our calculations are wrong. Maybe the tails aren't as massive as they seem. Maybe the brightness exaggerates how much material is actually leaving the comet. Maybe the comet is losing only 5 billion tons per month instead of 50 billion. That would still be extreme, but survivable. The problem is that this method of calculating mass loss has worked for decades. It worked for every comet we've ever studied. If the method fails here, then the problem isn't the method. It's the comet. Something about 3i Atlas, its chemistry, its crust, its internal pressure, its age, or something we haven't even identified, is pushing it outside the boundaries of known comet behavior. And when an object violates every rule of physics and still remains whole, active, and accelerating, the universe is telling us that we're missing something fundamental, something big, something hidden behind the strange glow of this impossible visitor, something seriously wrong. And this is only the beginning. When we step back and look at everything 3i Atlas has done, everything we've measured, everything we've calculated, everything we've witnessed, it becomes impossible to pretend this is just another interstellar comet drifting silently through the solar system. Nothing about this object behaves the way it should. Not its brightness, not its mass loss, not its tails, not its jets, not its survival, not its structure, not its refusal to break apart despite every law of physics screaming that it should have shattered weeks ago. What we are watching isn't the story of a comet. It's the story of contradiction itself, an object that is physically tearing through every model we use to understand the cold visitors crossing our cosmic borders. Because here's the truth most astronomers won't say aloud. 3. I Atlas is a paradox, a contradiction wrapped in dust and ice, a mathematical glitch drifting through space. It is losing more material than it contains, yet it remains whole. It produces tails so massive that they require four times its measured surface area, yet the nucleus is smaller than any comet capable of generating them. It fires jets in seven directions like a dying star, yet the nucleus shows no cracks, no fractures, no fragments. It passes through the most violent part of its orbit without losing structural integrity. It behaves like something fragile and explosive while looking like something rigid and ancient. It's almost as if the object is obeying one set of rules on the outside and a completely different set of rules on the inside. And that is the part no one wants to touch. Because if 3i Atlas is natural, then we're witnessing a new category of interstellar object, one shaped over billions of years, hardened by cosmic rays, sculpted into a form no comet from our solar system has ever taken. But if 3i Atlas is not natural, if the violent jets, the impossible mass loss, the sudden appearance of enormous tails, the perfect structural survival, the rare anti-tail alignment, and the flawless integrity of its nucleus are symptoms not of chaos but of design. Then this object is not just old. It is engineered by time, by age, by conditions we have never seen, or by processes we have never imagined. Either way, the conclusion is the same. Something is seriously wrong with 3i Atlas, because something about it does not belong here. Maybe it's showing us a kind of interstellar chemistry our models cannot yet describe. Maybe it's revealing what comets look like in civilizations older than our sun. Or maybe, just maybe, we are looking at something built to survive what no natural object ever could. What matters now is this. 3i Atlas has forced us to confront the limits of our understanding. It has shown us a behavior no comet should have. It has endured conditions no comet should survive and it has left behind a trail of physical impossibilities so large that the only honest reaction is to admit that something about this visitor is beyond us. If this video made you rethink what we thought we knew about interstellar objects, don't leave silently. Subscribe, because the next update could change everything we think we know about the universe. Give this video a like so more people can see the truth hidden inside these impossible numbers. And comment below what you think is really happening with 3i Atlas. Is it just an ancient comet behaving in ways we've never seen? Or is it something entirely different?